Because of the pandemic, this New Year's Eve will, of course, be unlike any other. Police departments still say they'll be ready for whatever comes, even though most of the celebrations will be going on at home. Alicia Roberts is in Ben Salem with a look at some changes the department is making this year. Alicia, good evening. Good evening to you, Yuki. Ben Salem police saying they are expecting an unusual New Year's with bars and restaurants, indoor dining that is closed. They are adjusting staff levels, but say they're ready for the night. This is one local restaurant is doing all they can to make the last couple days of 2020 count. In a normal year, bars, restaurants, and casinos would be packed to ring in the new year. All of our establishments that serve alcohol are currently closed. But in true fashion, 2020 has been anything but normal. We typically deal with over 200 calls uh, during that, that uh, 12 hour period. Uh, we think that'll be reduced, but we'll still be prepared. It should fit about 40 to 50 people socially distanced. A township away, Brian Ruling is setting up outdoor tents and heated igloos at the Buck Hotel. So December is our biggest month of the year. It, it could uh, equal out to almost 50% of our sales for the entire year. On past New Year's Eve, the historic restaurant, bar, and wedding venue will serve up to 1,000 people. But this year, with Pennsylvania's orders to close indoor dining and bars through January 4th, we're lucky if we have 50, 60 people. Um, we'll, you know, we'll be lucky. We'll see what happens. The kids are off, and we've been wanting to get together. Today, the Dick family is enjoying a rare meal out with their neighbors. Is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Let's see. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Hoping their dollars help. There's so many other businesses in addition to the restaurant, and there's so many other vendors that are connected to the restaurants. In a year when every last day matters so much. And while many people may be staying home, police are warning that the number one thing they will be patrolling for is drunk driving, urging everyone to take this New Year's Eve safely. Reporting in Ben Salem, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Yuki. Here, here, Alicia, thank you.